In order to meet the expanding needs of our student population, Duke University has been offering various distance learning options. But with some of these options, our students might miss the interaction of the classroom, seeing and hearing the professor and participating in lively discussions both in class and out of class. Distance education has a history of being unidirectional and flat. Discussion boards help to make it collaborative and add some depth to the flow of information, but they are still asynchronous. What virtual environments offer is social interaction and presence which helps to promote learning. If Dr. Johnson is not sitting in her office on the Duke University campus these days, you might want to check to see if she's sitting in her virtual office on the third floor of Duke University School of Nursing in Second Life. Dr. Johnson's Second Life persona, or avatar, Alana Harsley, teaches informatics students in virtual Doosan that allows advanced social networking and thus an enriched educational environment. I stepped into Second Life not knowing what kind of adventure I was about to embark on. I emerged from Second Life back into my real life six hours later, forever changed and enriched by the experience. I felt like I had traveled around the world, yet realized that I had only navigated a minor part of this vast metaverse from the confines of my study. Second Life is a 3D virtual immersive environment created by Linden Labs and maintained, populated, and constantly reimagined by its creative residents. With its growing population of over 13 million registered residents, there are over 300 universities and museums who have a presence in Second Life. Virtual environments can enhance distance education through synchronous communication. This medium provides users with egocentric perspectives and allows users to speak and hear others, thus making the environment very similar to real-world exchanges. It gives the users the illusion that they are really present in the environment. It works like this. An agent, you, control a virtual character called an avatar, your online persona. You choose its name, how it looks, what clothes it wears, everything. Your avatar can fly, walk around, socialize with other avatars through voice, type chat, or if you prefer to keep your chats private, through a personal voice call or instant message, I am. In the classroom, you are fully present. You feel fully immersed in the experience. You see and hear the professor. You can see and hear any audiovisual aids they present. You see your classmates around you. You see them stand up or sit down in a number of poses. You can even raise your hand to ask questions. You can get fine-tuned feedback and enjoy the advantages of the mentor-mentee interactions. And while the professor is lecturing, you can instant message them or another student, if you wish, with questions or comments. You can discuss content while it is being delivered without disturbing the class. This type of synchronous communication helps to spawn new ideas. The professor can also send you materials you can download into other programs and you can upload content and assignments you've done for the professor as well. Field trips in Second Life use no fossil fuels and emit no greenhouse gases and are only an instantaneous teleport away. Real-life lab environments can be virtual as well, presenting you with realistic simulations to which you must respond and make critical decisions as you will have to in real life, without the downside of making mistakes on real patients. And when class is over, you can socialize with other students, talking over coffee in the Doosan Cafe, comparing class notes, and getting to know your fellow students. Or you can enjoy the rest of Second Life, or simply log off. No need to go out to an empty parking lot if it's late, or have a long commute home. I am a registered nurse and a student in the Duke School of Nursing Informatics program. Since I live in Massachusetts and attend Duke, it's really important to have a good way to communicate with my class. When Second Life, I just ended up feeling much more connected with Dr. J and with my classmates because it was just a realistic environment. Um, there was auditory and visual within Second Life that just made it feel um, very real, um, the sense of presence. Second Life um, really took distance learning to a new level. Um, initially, Second Life was very foreign and it took a few sessions to learn how to navigate and how to communicate and how to get through some of the technical problems of the system. So, you know, in campus is certainly great and wonderful, but Second Life really is um, 
the next best thing. The future of distance learning is now here at the Duke University School of Nursing and Doosan SL. We believe we are providing a maximally effective learning environment to meet your educational needs by bringing the classroom to you on your computer in Second Life. Doosan Second Life. See you in class.